Hello, welcome. We're in France, it's winter, but we've come to our favourite lake, Cavignac, and uh, we've come in force. That's right, we've got six small teams of anglers here from Spain. They're actually setting up on the swims at the moment as we speak. What we're going to do this time is we're going to show you how they're fishing, where they're fishing, and basically what's changed in Cavignac since we were last here. So I reckon it's cold, but I reckon we're going to see some sofa-sized carp this time because there are some monsters in here. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, so we're at the channel and I can see Carlos is uh, actually into a fish now already so it hasn't taken him long to get some action so let's go in and see what he's got on the line. The fish is um, snagged so we're going to go out on the boat. You need a hand. Vamos en el barco. Okay. Vamos, vamos. So we've literally just walked onto the channel here and we've had to go straight out into the boat. Charlie's not been fishing for long and he's had his first fish. It looks like an absolute lump, certainly a nice looking mirror carp. Let's put it on the mat now and see exactly what he's had. <laughs> okay, we timed it perfectly to come and see this fish on the channel. Your first fish, Charlie, congratulations. Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish, it's an absolute beauty. I'm glad I was here to help. It looks like a, a, a recently stocked fish, but I need to check with David about that. But what a great start, a mid-30 there, who wouldn't want to catch that? Okay, well, we're here over on the board swim. Very popular swim, this one, quite rightly so too. The lads have been absolutely hauling the fish out. Seven fish. One fish just over 40 pound, but apparently they've got two fish here waiting, so let's check them out and see what they've had. What two fantastic looking fish, a mirror and a common, really wet my appetite. All that's left now is to get back to the rods and get doing some fishing. We've come down to trees. This is a very popular swim. At the moment, it's being fished with eight rods. The team here have had six fish so far. The biggest mirror carp was 40 pounds. And they've also had a really surprise fish for this time of the year, very unusual grass carp. Um, it was 13 and a half kilos, so that makes it over 30 pounds, or just about that mark. And uh, what an absolutely stunning fish for this time of the year. It's very unusual. One thing I did want to mention as well, what you'll see on these swims is that there are markers in the water. Those markers are there to help the anglers really to know where they're putting their baits and also to guide them and show them where the lilies are. What a result. After two hours getting the rods back in, it's ripped off and uh, produced a nice 30 pound mirror. What a lovely looking fish and what a pleasure it is to be here. Absolutely made up with this. Fantastic. Since we last came to Cavignac, the team here have been building the, the swims, rebuilding them all. As you can see, they're doing that now. Behind us, putting all the planks and everything back in place so when you get here, you can be sure that you're going to be on a nice, steady platform. Okay, well we're here back on the channel. Charles had another lovely looking mirror, but why don't we go over now and have a chat with the staff about some of the changes that have been made on the venue. Okay, so we're lakeside now with David. I'm gonna ask him some questions about how to fish the lake and what advice you need when you come and fish Cavignac. So David, what's 
the best piece of advice you can give to somebody who wants to come and fish on Cavignac now? Uh, I think, f first of all, the main, uh, the main thing is that uh, any anglers that come through the door and really want to enjoy a nice week holiday at Cavignac, they must, must listen to my boys. I mean, my brother Arnie and Ross, they know the lake like the back of their hands and they cannot be more helpful for for the anglers you know they will help you to move they'll help you to put the rods out they'll help you to to show you some rigs they'll do anything for you so you your success on your week you know right okay so ask the the team here for advice yeah, it's, it's the first thing you know we have some clients sometimes they go ahead with their own mind and they're losing time one week is going so quick you know yeah. and uh, if you can gain uh, two days fishing or three days fishing without searching for some things that you can get advice with uh, it's one of the best thing i think that they're, you don't get everywhere yeah you know? they'll put you on the spot yes yes so technically speaking in terms of fishing what other advice would you give to the anglers here uh, i i think one of the major major thing i mean we will we'll get this also with with drive and survive all inclusive obviously give all that trust you know in our hands but for the drive and survive that, that come here, they, they must, I think, use the boilies that we have on site. That is the main, main thing, uh, which is really, really important. Fishing, fishing wise, we keep the lake simple. You know, we don't overcomplicate it with rigs and things. Uh, we try to make it as, as easy as possible. But the bait is, is, a, is a very value point uh, for, for me to, to help anglers. We have boilies that we use constantly, uh, the boilies that we feed the fish with all winter. The fish are getting this all year long and it's, it's easier. Uh, it makes the fishing a lot easier. Right. Uh, so they know, the fish know the baits already because you're putting so many in, you're feeding them essentially. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. We put large, large amount of quantities of boilies in the lake and that's why now the fish are growing excessively as well. They're taking a kilo and a half, two kilos sometimes a, a year, which is four, four pound nearly right. a year, which is, which is really good. Um, we've done a hell of a lot of work on the lake as well with the little fish as well and also uh, with the lilies we've made features all the swims have features so all the swims are good good mm. to fish fish are coming fish are coming out on 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 every swim that's right. that's a good thing about this this lake some lakes you would go uh, there's fish on one corner of the lake and the others the fishing on the other side they were just watching and not enjoying a week holiday but there we see fish coming out in the day, in the night, the whole time, and from all over, all over the lake. Yeah, yeah. Well, in in this session here, we've had six different yeah, teams fishing, and good. fish have come out everywhere. Yeah, it's been really, really good for for the start of the year. Really, really impressed. Yeah, with yeah. everything. Yeah, it's been incredible start. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We definitely. need to see the big girls now, and uh, maybe by the end of the week we'll see some some good surprise for sure. Yeah, well yeah. I think the key to that is putting your bait in now. Yes, they're starting now, and uh, they they literally improving now as well with the weather. We have a, a much better weather, and night is not so cold, so it makes it a bit more even in, yeah. in, the, in the day and the night. So. There's been a lot of changes since I came and oh, fished yeah. here on the lake. Some of them are the facilities and yeah. others are the restocking. I've seen some fantastic yeah. photos of fish. Can you tell us some more about what you've done? Uh, we've done a hell of a lot of work. We haven't stopped. I mean, uh, all the banks have been completely uh, re repaired and uh, modified to, to make the path and the access to the anglers really, really good. All the swims have been completely renewed as well, so which is uh, is fantastic. All the new wooden platforms, some of them is now earth as well, which makes life easier for people. Really nice and clean, you know, you don't get mud everywhere. Right. Uh, um, very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, very, very comfortable. Mm. And like stock wise, uh, we, we decided this year, obviously, now we have a, a large amount of, of angler coming through the door and believing all our services. Mm. We have had uh, possibilities of introducing a lot of new carp in the lake, mm. uh, which that makes now the stock nearly touching a thousand carp, including obviously the the grass carp into it. Right. Uh, but we yeah we're touching a thousand carp in the lake. We've put about nearly nearly 200 fish new in the lake, 180 fish uh, new from 12 kilo to 20. 2.8 kilo. I think the biggest one was. So that's in, so that's in, in, pounds. in, in pound. That's a, that's probably about. 
just under 30 pound up to 49 pound i think the biggest one was and he was quite a few big fish i mean right. the whole average of them fish that we've been put in is like 16 kilo which is uh 35 36 yeah, pound uh which is which is good which is really really good and all the fish like immaculate fish they uh you know fish farm fish like which uh the scaly fish the, the pattern on them are really really good yeah i saw some photos they were absolutely yeah, stunning looking yeah, fish really done beautiful a lot of publishing as well for that so that's yeah. been that's been really, really good. So yeah. the anglers that come here this year, they've got a lot of new fish to look forward to. That's Very it. exciting That's fishing. It. Plus the others that keep growing. Yeah. <laughs> so brilliant. All right. Uh, well, thanks for your time. Ah, uh, no worries, mate. No worries. Been good. Yeah. Now you've got to get back on the bank. That's it. I want to go and catch some fish now. Absolutely amazing. We're here on Charlie's Bay. Ankel's uh, netted a 44 pound, lovely looking carp, caught on pro line boilies, absolutely amazing. Well done, fella. Just ripped off and yeah I'm into a nice fish here. Wow. So powerful, they're so powerful. on the channel swim, hinge rig, cast to the other side, 20 mil boilie, first 40 pounder, nice one, doesn't get any better than that does it? Winter fishing and what's been great is that fish have been caught on every single swim since we've been here. We're a few days into the session now and everyone's caught so you can't argue with that can you? Get down to the channel and get yourself a 40 like this one. Okay, well, just got back to the swim. Just been telling Andy all about Ankel and uh, over at Charlie's Bay. What an incredible fish. Just been telling about the size of the fin itself. He's doing really well. He's fished on here, on the channel and in Charlie's. He's moved around and he's always caught. That looks like a superb fish you just had though. 44 pound, whale's tail, who wouldn't want that? But we've still got a little bit of time uh, before the lights go out on our last night on Cavignac and I'm looking for a 50 or a 60 or even a 70. Well, there's plenty of fish in here. There certainly is and the rods are all set, so fingers crossed. Let's see if we can catch a big one. It's the end of the session. And it's not quite the fish I was hoping to end on, but still a beautiful one. We were looking for a 50, but we can't complain. We've had three 40s, countless 30s, and it's been a fantastic session. Over 45 fish in total. And it's really testament that David and his brother and all the team at Cavignac are making a fantastic job of making this one of the best resorts in France. We've caught fish on every swim and it's been just amazing. Okay, well that's the end of another session on Cavignac. It's been absolutely amazing. 50 fish in total, uh, quite a few 40s doesn't get any better. The team here at Cavignac doing a great job. You do want to come and fish this place for sure. If you do want any more information though, please visit the website and that's it from now. So uh, yeah, tight lines. And uh, adios, no? Ciao. Yay.